Welcome back, everybody. 18 minutes before 7 o'clock on this Tuesday morning. Former Public Investment Corporation CEO Dan Machida could have personally benefited nearly 7.5 million rand from VBS Mutual Bank. This is according to a letter addressed to the PIC inquiry by United Democratic Movement leader Bantu Holomisa. The revelation comes after Holomisa's open letter to President Cyril Ramaphosa last year titled Unmasking Harith and Lebash's alleged fleecing of the Public Investment Corporation on how the rich are plundering PIC through companies. Let's find out more. Uh, General Bantu Holomisa joins us from our parliamentary studios in Cape Town to talk further. Thanks so much for being with us. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you very much and good morning. <clears throat> Let's get to the root of these allegations. Um, you allege in this letter that Dan Majila may have personally benefited nearly 7.5 million rand. Let's, let's talk about more of these allegations. Yes, I can confirm that uh, yesterday I wrote to Mr. Lupe, the evidence leader at the PIC inquiry, with a view to verify the authenticity or otherwise of the information I obtained from my sources which suggest that uh, Dan Machile did receive a loan from VBS Bank of uh, 2 point something 5 million rands. And you will also recall that uh, during Terry Motau, Terry Motau's, uh, advocate Terry Motau's uh, inquiry on VBS revealed that there was an amount of, allegedly amount of five million which was taken by helicopter to one of the airports in Johannesburg for Mr. Uh, for Mr. for Dr. Dan Mochile. So all I'm interested at this phase is this part of the 2.5 million loan. One, if this is true, has he started to service that loan? Number two, why the other two directors who were seconded to PIC, who also received loans from PIC, were expelled. Why was his name not mentioned in the Terimut advocate Terimutau's report? And lastly, the inquiry should also verify as to whether the board of the PIC did take steps against him regarding this transaction. Did he declare it? All those questions will only be answered once the Commission has uh, responded to my letter. One, is there such a report? But I've given them the name of the, of the audit uh, a firm, which is Nexus Forensic Audit Firm, mm. which has this report. Yeah. Let's, let's look a little bit more at the, the, the credibility of the whistleblower, of, of the person that has come forward or the individuals that have come forward with this evidence. How sure are you that this is actually a fact? If it was a fact, I would have gone straight to the police and lay a charge. The mere fact that I'm passing it to the inquiry, which is tasked to investigate such uh, allegations is a proof is, is, is sufficient enough. Mm. The, the, the problem is this is not the first time that you've come forward with allegations of impropriety and, uh, and handed them over as well. Um, about a year ago, I think, I think you handed something over um, talking about the misappropriation of funds Majila had. And yet, n n nothing really came of this. And the Commission, basically, to quote them, uh, saying that uh, you did not present enough evidence to back up these allegations and rather left it to the Commission to obtain the evidence. Has anything ever come of this? Well, unfortunately, that is your, your view because the Commission of Inquiry is in session. And I'm sure the many close to 100 witnesses which have been paraded at the PIC inquiry have uh, confirmed all the information I've provided to, uh, to, to the Commission. The evidence, you are talking about evidence when you are in a court of law. Right now you 
submit information for verification by a commission of inquiry. And fortunately for myself, almost everything I've forwarded to that uh, commission has been corroborated by PIC employees as well. Mm, mm. Okay, well, let's, uh, le le let's move on more now, uh, particularly looking, I think it was in April that you took um, as, to the stand, but Danny Berger, who the representative for Le Bache, accused you of lacking in facts and using the commission to advance your own political agenda. Uh, would you like to address these kind of allegations and things that perhaps may develop after, after yesterday's letter? Well, the, the UDM, or in particular the speaker in front of you, wrote a letter to President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. And I'm sure Cyril Ramaphosa satisfied himself that there was a prima facie evidence on all these allegations which were flying all over the media. And as a result, he chose to appoint a commission of inquiry. So <clears throat> the... The information I've provided is being tested. It's take, it, it includes the, the many billions like uh, uh, the, the, the IO technologies. It also includes the billions which we lost in the stake uh, fund uh, uh, company. And also we we have also proved beyond reasonable doubt that uh, this empire of uh, Lebashe and Harith was uh, assisted by the monies of the pensioners. That's a proof, and we have also proved that uh, the Lebashe and uh, Harith and other companies are operating in one building and also sharing a, a website, that information was provided to the commission. What more do you want exactly? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not what I want. It's what the commission is wanting and asking for. Whatever, and whoever into wants it. it. All right. So, including Lebashe's. But, but, but let's, let's look at, at what's developed since then. I mean, former uh, um, uh, Finance Minister Ntlantla Nene commissioned an investigation into da Dan Majila, but, but findings against him were dismissed last year. W when he resigned, the, the board said Majila has over the years in various capacities served the PIC with dignity and distinction. Um, I, I, and now the evidence that's coming forward is, is in complete contrast to this. What, what evidence was that? No, what, you, what you're alleging. Um, with, with his resignation, the board saying that in his various capacities, he served the PIC with dignity and distinction. However, the letter that you wrote yesterday and some of the allegations against him are completely against what was being said by the board. Well, you will recall that we questioned the board why the board was protecting Mr. Machila on these uh, nauseating exposes, which you, the media, have been carrying them out. So the inquiry, therefore, is tasked to, among other things, to look as to how did he conduct himself while he was the CEO of the, 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 the PIC. But uh, the evidence we have had so far from the workers of the PIC proves that uh, all was not well. So we cannot therefore say he served that board with integrity. After so many billions of the pensioners' monies were take, siphoned out in under questionable circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, the North Gauteng High Court ordered you to stop making corruption claims um, against Labashe. Judge Vizi Vivian Tlape had said that she would give reasons for the order. What were those reasons? And at the time you wanted to challenge the order, did you challenge it? The, UD, the UDM uh, did appeal uh, on that, uh, or file a notice to appeal. And uh, that process is taking its own uh, route. So we are not going to allow to be gagged. This is a, a, a country which is uh, promoting freedom of expression and we need to improve or contribute towards 
uh, building a, a free society and in doing so we will act, act as checks and balances to strengthen our democracy. Mm -hmm. We are not going to be tossed around by suspects. Yeah, yeah. It, at the moment, as, as we all know, the, the inquiry is still underway and, and there are no findings as yet, which we've been emphasizing and so have you. But why doesn't the SA public seem to be irked about the PIC situation? What, why should the public actually care about this? The public should care about this because uh, the PIC is tasked to manage the funds of the pensioners, that is the employees of the government, police, teachers, soldiers, clerks, you name them. And also the public of South Africa should be concerned that uh, that the PIC seems to have been turned into a private bank for some. The public of South Africa should be concerned that uh, the PIC, which is uh, managing close to two trillion, three, three, two trillion rands, if it is uh, dubbed that is a corrupted, trans there are corrupt transactions that would uh, uh, affect the image of this country, and also that the would-be investors would always be skeptical of coming to invest in South Africa. Indeed, and I, I suppose what, what needs to be asked is that uh, since yesterday, since the allegation was made and, and, and you, you have brought these to light, have there been any reaction whatsoever from the lawyers, from the commission, anything? No, it's still too early for because the letter was forwarded yesterday and uh, the commission therefore should petition the management or the board of PIC as to whether they had ever tasked uh, a Nexus forensic audit company to conduct this inquiry. If so, what did they do about that inquiry? Why did they kept it? Why did they keep it secret? Just finally, um, do, do, you, do you see this, this PIC inquiry um, bearing any positive fruits? Uh, so far, the things that have been dealt with, the issues that have come to the fore, do you think we're going to get anywhere with this? Normally, what's going to happen here, the commission will come up with its uh, findings and recommendations. Then some of the work will be referred, I'm sure, to the law enforcement agencies. And especially where you will have investments of these pensioners outside South Africa. Then some people and companies who are running this based in London, Ghana, and so on in those countries. So the Interpol, as well as the Hawks in this country, and in particular, the, audit, the Department of Aud I mean, Auditor General should be tasked to trace those funds and, where necessary, the charges be preferred against those who may have blundered. So let us wait for the Commission of Inquiry to pronounce on these issues and the way forward. All right, we leave it there for this morning. General, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for talking to us. UDM leader, Bantu Holomisa, talking to us from Cape Town. On the letter he wrote to the PIC inquiry, which happens to coincide with uh, former CEO Dan Machila's first day on the stand. All right, let's take a break here on morning.